Self Yoga, as we know, is a spontaneous union of the individual consciousness with the divine power through the awakening of our Kundalini, which many times remains dormant in our system. Madhaji, it's a pleasure to talk to you right in your home turf in New Jersey. And uh, tell us, I know last four years ago I met you, it was a great experience, and I want to tell our viewers again what it is all that you've been doing, promoting Sahaja Yoga for the last 30 years now all over the world. Uh, tell us again briefly for viewers who don't know what Sahaja Yoga really means and signifies, what does it do and how do we get that absolute knowledge to this discipline? Saha means with, Ja means born. Is born with you the right to get this yoga is the union with the divine. So this is your birthright. All human beings have this right to get the awakening of their kundalini by which they become one with the divine power. This is the real yoga. Right. And as I said, uh, the, even the ancient uh, sages and astrologers, Brigu Mani talks about it, and you've written in your book also, Meta, the yeah, Modern yeah. Era, yes. They all have talked about it, but in those days, they used to work on about, say, thousands of people, then select one of them, then cleanse them, mm. and then they used to give them realization. Wow. Now the difference of this modern surgery, yoga, you can call it, is right. this. Yes. That you first give them awakening. Mm. Let them see for themselves what's wrong with them. Right. All right. Once they find out, let them correct themselves. Mm. And then it's perfect. Right. Because if you try like this, then it will take thousands of years right. to give realization to many people. With this method, you can give collectively to thousands of people realization. Now we have to change the world. And how can we do it on an individual basis if you go? This is the best way now. Thousands are getting realization all over. And now they are telling me it's in 86 countries working out. So we are going to have a global race, we can call it a global um, awakening, which is very important. And without this awakening, we cannot get transformed. This is to transform, to completely change. We have, they say, there are six enemies we have within. In Sanskrit, you know them. Yes. Now, all these enemies, which are lust and greed and things like that, jealousies and all, right. all these, these can be completely uh, destroyed by mm. Kundalini awakening. You become a different person. You become the spirit. Now, in all the scriptures, it is written, know thyself. Mm -hmm. And that should happen to you, that you should know yourself. Otherwise, all gimmicks are going on, all kinds of gimmicks, as I told you last time also. They are of no value. And they are not going to give you any results. What you should do is to get your self-realization. It's not difficult, it's free. Mm -hmm. Why not? But Mataji, how is your discipline, how is Sage Yoga different and unique from other yoga techniques for self-realization? Other, you see, out of them Raj Yoga is called, yes. one Raj Yoga. Now Raj Yoga actually happens within. What happens when the Kundalini rises, she closes the chakras. Hmm. That's called as Kumbha. Hmm. But you can't do it from outside, you see. Now supposing you move one wheel of the car, will the car move? In the same way, your energy has to be awakened. Now this Hatha Yoga, yes. which was thousands of years back, they were practicing the same way, they were first cleansing, this, that. But ultimately, they said the same thing what I do, that they said you reach a stage which we call as thoughtless awareness yes. and then doubtless awareness. But in Sanskrit it is uh, thoughtless awareness they have divided into Savichar mm. and Nirvichar. And in this thing, Savikalpa and Nirvikalpa, right. they have divided. But we say you become thoughtlessly aware to begin with, mm. as you have said about it. And then beyond that is Nirvikalpa, and you have no doubts about yourself. You know yourself, you know everything, when your knowledge is perfect. Right. 
But Mother Ji, now you said it's a spontaneous, and we both said it's a spontaneous union of our inner consciousness along with the divine power. But that's only for that brief few seconds that you get that Kundalini awakening. No, no. But then we have to keep practicing. No, you have to grow. That's what I want to ask. You see, you have to grow because it's like a primule in the seed, you mm. see, it sprouts first. Then it has to grow into the tree. And for that, hardly one month, you have to attend our programs four times or five times. You can become masters. Mm. Nothing much to be done because they'll tell you the absolute knowledge. Now supposing on the hands I told you that time also, Vibrations. that you can feel the different centers. Now how to correct them? Mm. What are they? All this knowledge has to go to you and that takes hardly any time. Right. Now we have seven centers with us. Yes. The lowest center, the first one, is for our morality yeah. and innocence. Muladhara, right? Muladhara. Yeah. Then the second one and the third one and fourth, fifth, sixth, all of them are responsible for our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual being. So when the Kundalini passes through them, she integrates them together, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one thing. Then she enlightens them, she enriches them and then she connects them to the all-pervading power. So the problem is solved because all these problems are because of the chakras, of yes. the centers, right. which are in problem. Right. So a lot, of, but a lot of people say, why don't we start with the seventh chakra, let's go to the top chakra and start to enlighten that chakra without going to the Kundalini. A lot of people say, bypass the Kundalini and let's go to the, the seventh can't. chakra and move on, forget the other chakras. You shouldn't, you see, decide something like that. Actually, after realization yourself, you will know which chakra is catch. And then you will try to completely correct it. Right. You have to be honest with yourself. Right, sure. Once you know that, you do that. What's the use of just somebody says, do like that, theories after theories? Mm -hmm. That's not going to help. What is actually there, because this is actualization mm -hmm. of becoming, is not just talking and trying all tricks. No. Mm -hmm. does, does sometimes the Kundalini uh, may not rise in all the seven chakras, it may get stuck? somewhere in the middle. That's some another do. lot of people. I agree. Yes, exactly. Some do get, but you can clear it out. It's not difficult. Is it easy to clear you it say out? You others are there to help. Those who are now all right, then they can remove that obstruction, take it up. I see. And I believe, uh, Mataji, recently only at the National Institute of Medicine in Washington, D.C., huh? uh, in the National Institute of Medicine uh, in Washington, D.C., yeah, yeah, yeah. they demonstrated the technique of Sayaj Yoga Oh, they were very much impressed and 40 doctors came forward. But then they wanted to test a girl. How far, because I say that on these things you can make out your chakras. Mm -hmm. So they asked the girl, one, one doctor asked, what's wrong with me? He said, art. Mm -hmm. And he had a bypass surgery two months back. They were all amazed. I said, don't have to do all the rigmarole of the yeah. diagnosis, just on your fingertips you can say. 